Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. Welcome to another edition of our Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. But first, I want to thank the wonderful staff of Think Tech Hawaii for allowing us the opportunity to come into your homes on Tuesdays live at 12 noon. Today, we have a very, very special guest, someone that makes everyone happy whenever they need to get away to a special place. <laughs> he doesn't need any formal introduction uh, because he is well known. Last Saturday, he was one of our empowered awardees for making a positive change and, of course, uplifting everyone's lives. Uh, they are also a gold sponsor of our radio, you know, Power Radio. It is a pleasure to welcome Sales and Promotions Manager of Vacations Hawaii, Mr. Kevin Kaneshiro. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you Welcome for to our me. show. Pleasure. First of all, again, we want to express our gratitude, Kevin, and to the entire staff of Vacations Hawaii for always taking care of our wonderful listeners and our uh, clients. Well, and of course, the Filipino community is a large part of our market. Uh, tons of, uh, we, we send about 2,000 people a week to Las Vegas, Hawaii residents. Uh, you know, we charter four packages per week on our charter flights, but we have a full-service travel agency, so we send tons of people on Hawaiian Airlines, American, Delta, mm -hmm. United, Alaska Airlines. Um, and our Filipino uh, supporters uh, have been supporting us, so it's a pleasure to support the Filipino community. That is so wonderful to hear. Um, we are so always excited about promoting Vacations Hawaii uh, on our radio. Uh, because when they hear the magic number, <laughs> the magic affordable number, they are always wanting to book. Yeah, it's so, a great deal. <laughs> tell us tell us about the specials uh, going on so they can call and take advantage. Well, of course, one of the biggest questions I always get is, why do you think Vegas is the number one destination for the Hawaii traveler? And uh, some people would say there's a lot of Asians in Hawaii and the the concept of luck and goes with gambling and mm -hmm. you know it's it's a fun thing but i really think uh california hotel and vacation hawaii charter packages are uh, probably the number one reason it's literally cheaper for hawaii residents to go to las vegas than to even go to an outer island you know we always have our 699 specials which includes round trip air from hawaii to las vegas your four or five nights hotel three meals daily and of course the transfers to and from the uh, airport in Las Vegas. It's truly the most economical uh, package price for Hawaii travelers. And of course, Vegas is so different than Hawaii mm -hmm. um, with uh, all the lights and shows, restaurants, amusements. Uh, it's very popular. Yes, it is considered the Ninth Island, as yeah, a matter of fact. Affectionately known as the Ninth Island, yes. and appropriately as well. It, it, it is my favorite uh, destination. In fact, I've called it Timbuktu because <laughs> I don't want to mention Vegas sometimes. <laughs> I just want to uh, go go away to a quiet place, but you can't do that in Las Vegas. Uh, there's quiet places in Vegas. <laughs> you got your spas, and uh, there's so many beautiful uh, natural uh, places right around, you know, Hoover Dam and the Grand Canyon. And yes. The Red Rock Canyons, a uh, lot of beautiful natural, natural things beauty. to see in, around Vegas as well. Yes. Okay. But before we uh, continue our conversation, uh, tell us a little bit about Kevin Kanashiro. Uh, <laughs> how did you get started? And uh, as uh, young as uh, you look, you look like you just turned 21. Uh, Seems you're sweet. like <laughs> ah. when we mentioned Vacation Hawaii, <laughs> it's uh, Kevin Kanashiro, the sales and promotions manager. Well, that's kind of a funny story because uh, back in 1984, 34 years ago, uh, I was going to uh, Point Loma Nazarene University in San Diego, which was our church university. So I was predestined from birth to go there. Um, but I was, back in 84, I was just back in Hawaii for summer break. I was mm -hmm. only supposed to be here just for that summer. And my buddy, Bill Smith, who uh, owned Vacation Hawaii before Boyd Gaming bought us, mm -hmm. uh, he offered me a summer job. And during that summer, 
we took on a huge client, American Airlines. Mm -hmm. We started doing all their inbound operations for the thousands of people they flew into Hawaii uh, from all the ground handling. And s since we got such a huge account, I forfeited going back to San Diego for school. Uh, it's been a fun ride. You know, shortly after that, we started doing groups to Tahiti mm -hmm. and Las Vegas and Disneyland, San Francisco. Those were real dominant uh, travel destinations mm -hmm. back in the 80s. Uh, and the rest is history. The rest is history. Then, in, of course, in, in the 95, Boyd Gaming bought Vacations Hawaii with the uh, to start charter service from Hawaii to Las mm -hmm. Vegas to make it uh, economical for our Hawaii customers to get to Las Vegas. How exciting. And it was fun. And <laughs> you came with a package. We, uh, it, that's the true reason Boyd Gaming bought Vacations Hawaii, so they could have that ability to start chartering flights just for uh, Boyd Gaming customers, and dominantly to get to the California Hotel, and mm -hmm. of course, uh, if you know any of the history of Sam Boyd and the California Hotel, back in the 70s, he just bought the California Hotel when it was in a foreclosure. It's a rags to riches story, mm -hmm. you know. He, he was an attorney. He lived in Hawaii for a while and went to Vegas. Uh, just a few bucks in his pocket. Uh, started working some, m making some money in some casinos. Decided to buy California Hotel in a foreclosure struck gold. He was so innovative and progressive. He was one of the first casinos to start having female blackjack dealers. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the 70s, he, he would offer people free hotel, free meals to come into the California Hotel. And people back then thought, oh, you're crazy. You're going to go out of business. And of course, that's a model for every major casino now. They give all qualified players free meals and free hotel stay. So he created the mold. He created the mold. Mm -hmm. He used to uh, bribe bus drivers from Arizona and California that brought bus loads of people to Las Vegas to stop at the California Hotel first. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of course, a few years later, he bought the Fremont Hotel in a foreclosure, then the Stardust Hotel. And less than 50 years later, it's a multi-billion dollar corporation, almost 30 properties across the country, uh, one of the leading gaming corporations in America. So pretty exciting. What a wonderful uh, legacy yeah. that uh, Sam Boyd uh, had started. And uh, it, it, it's not just about making money. It's also about sharing uh, his blessings with others. That's yeah. one great thing mm -hmm. with the Boyd Gaming family. Uh, and, you know, Sam Boyd passed away in the 90s, but his son Bill Boyd is now t one of our top CEOs and such a generous giving family. Um, and, of course, we just did our $450,000 yes. UH Athletics donation. Mm -hmm. And we actually did it at this past Sunday's uh, volleyball game. It was very exciting. Um, and, of course, he supports so many other Hawaii causes as well as uh, other causes all across the country now that he has so many properties across the country. But uh, such a generous family. Yes, really we nice. are also benefactors of his generosity. <laughs> uh, you've been supporting us for uh, so many years now, and you've been a part of our uh, big celebration. We celebrated our 13th anniversary. Yes. And this is why you are part of, you are part of our empowerment, Kevin. I should have brought my sash. <laughs> <laughs> is that the first that empowered sash that you've I ever got gotten? I got empowered sash at the gala on Saturday. So yes. That was very fun. So uh, we want to personally thank you for uh, helping the six school districts. And I need to mention that they are Cabeza, uh, which has three school districts um, in uh, Ilocos, and also Amarosa, that's Apaya, Mangato, and Santa Rosa. And ah. that's the school that uh, I attended up to nine years old when I finally came to Hawaii to live the American dream. Oh, nice. So, uh, in addition to that, uh, there are uh, 19 orphanage that lives huh. in the St. Joseph Orphanage, which will also benefit from your um, monthly support for our radio and also your generous donation. Is that in Philippines? In the Philippines, oh, in nice. Ilocos Norte. Oh, so, great. Uh, your, uh, your generosity uh, is huh. shared throughout the world. Wonderful. And that's part of our empowerment. Excellent, yes. Let's get Sweet. back to uh, talking about the wonderful packages that uh, Vacations Hawaii has to offer and uh, tell us 
uh, what do you enjoy most about your job? I mean, <laughs> it seems like it keeps you young forever. I do joke that I have the best job in the world. I live in paradise, live in Hawaii, and get to promote the number one destination, Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and my favorite place to uh, visit. Um, but, you know, doing promotions and marketing for Las Vegas here in Hawaii, there's so many events and with so many customers that go with us four, five, six times, seven times a year. Yes. Uh, we have such dedicated uh, customers and it's all about going somewhere and having fun. Mm -hmm. And hey, uh, yeah, our company's called Gaming. It's a game. It's, it's a fun. game. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and of course, through the years, uh, We've had so many million dollar winners and... Uh, Tell us about some of them because I know that lady from Molokai. Molokai, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, in fact, Jake Shimabukuro's grandmother mm -hmm. uh, back in early 2000s hit, uh, I think it was an $8.9 million jackpot at the Fremont and uh, that was uh, pretty exciting. But our very first million dollar winner back in 95 mm -hmm. was Alex Ayers from Waipahu, and uh, he played Kino, and it was his very first bet of his trip. Mm -hmm. He had just checked into the hotel. Uh, his Kino numbers, he picked all his kids' ages, and would you believe he got all numbers correct and walked away with a million dollars. So that was wow. pretty exciting. And actually, Waipahu's done pretty good for us. Back <laughs> in... Uh, Ooh, Waipahu. Exactly, back in, uh, I think it was, two in fact, it was 2000. Eight, uh -huh. uh, Jessica, 24 years old, also from Waipahu. Uh, her first visit to Vegas, uh, she was playing a slot machine there at the California Hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, four spins, she played four spins and lined up the progressives and walked away with 2.4 million. So, uh, so awesome. 24 years old yes. and getting 2.4 million. million. Life changing. Yeah. As oh. they say in the slot machines, one. Uh, one pool could change your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. and uh, I believe in beginner's luck, the, uh, right? That is so true. In mm -hmm. fact, just last month, we had, uh, as many Hawaii families do, they took their daughter to Las Vegas for her 21st birthday. Yes, that's a common and occurrence. And right before midnight, before she was turning 21, mm -hmm. her uncle gave her just a $3 Kino scratch card. Uh -huh. She picked her birthday numbers, and she was a soccer player, so she put, picked her soccer number, and she got all the numbers right. That was on a $3 bet, I believe, and so she walked away with thousands, I think $3,000. So Not bad for, for, a for your very bet. first legal 21-year-old bet mm -hmm. in Vegas, that's the way to do it. <laughs> that's the way to get, get you hooked, too. <laughs> it is. It's funny. I've worked for a gaming corporation for you know almost 30-plus years. And oh, you're dating yourself, Kevin. <laughs> I actually didn't really get into gambling until about seven or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Once, What I like to say is once you get a tax form win, which is 1200 or more, right. it kind of gets you. It's like, oh, my goodness, $3 and $1,200, yay, that's mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> wow, it can change your life. It can, yeah. yeah. Um, I know that there are so many uh, different places to go to. There are different attractions and many shows uh, to see. It's not just gambling, but it's also a family destination now. Oh, definitely, and lots of uh, rides and lots of casinos. And, of course, uh, you can go to the surrounding areas if you want to get some nature and get away from the, the bright lights of Las Vegas Strip and, you know, just the Bellagio Fountain Show. Uh, the so many amusements in, in so many of the casinos, ride a gondola at the Venetian, mm -hmm. uh, pirate ships at the, the Mirage, or at the Treasure Island. I mean, there's just so much to see and do. It's a amazing. long list. Yeah. Well, we're going to come back and talk more about uh, uh, Las Vegas. It's our favorite uh, family destination. and. You got Vegas on your mind, get Vacations Hawaii on the line. We will take a quick break. We'll be right back with Sales and Promotions Manager, Mr. Kevin Kanashiro, after a short break. And aloha. My name is Calvin Griffin, the host of Hawaii in Uniform. And every Friday at 11 o'clock here on Think Tech Hawaii, we bring you the latest in what's happening within the military community. And we also invite all your response to things that's happening here. 
For those of you who haven't seen the program before, again, we invite your participation. We're here to give information, not disinformation, and we always enjoy response from the public. But join us here, Hawaii in uniform, Fridays, 11 a.m., here on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Hello. My name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert, and we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m., and we hope we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii, our guest for uh, uh, today is uh, very, very popular, especially if you got Vegas on your mind, get Vacations Hawaii on the line. He is the Promotions and Sales Manager for Vacations Hawaii, also an empowered awardee and very generous, very popular among uh, organizations and uh, other businesses that uh, want to re award or reward uh, their, uh, uh, their workers, their empl <laughs> employees. Um, with a Vacations Hawaii package. Uh, Mr. Kevin Kanashiro will uh, do all the work necessary to make your vacation a happy and enjoyable, memorable vacation. Well, with, with you mentioning that, that's a good segue. You know, there are a lot of companies that take group trips to Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and I think it is literally cheaper for them to take them to Vegas than to go to Maui. So they're like, yeah, let's just take our our office to Vegas, and uh, those are fun incentives. And of course, we just finished our $3 million renovations in our ballrooms at the California Hotel. Mm -hmm. It looks great, raised the ceilings, beautiful chandeliers, and they haven't raised the menu prices. So already, uh, bank it's a deal in itself. banquet space in Vegas is so much cheaper than Hawaii, so you could really, as a company, do a fantastic, impressive trip to Vegas and, and uh, Anchor in keeping those in place. <laughs> That's right. It's a great getaway. It's also a wonderful incentive. You know, when the, uh, companies mention, oh, if you are the t uh, top uh, seller for this month, you you're going to get a trip to Vegas. Free trip to Vegas. Tons of and companies do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And it gets everybody going. Uh, they get very, very competitive, and <laughs> it works. So it's an advantage uh, to you as well as uh, the company promoting you. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we appreciate all the business. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, shows. You know, people always love to go to Vegas for shows. And any weekend, any time of the year, there's tons. Just this mm -hmm. weekend, we've got NASCAR races, uh, the, the middleweight world championship boxing finals are this weekend. And next weekend, you've got the giant iHeartMedia mm -hmm. uh, concerts, as well as the Life is Beautiful Festival, which is right downtown Vegas. So it's just a few blocks from our Fremont, Main Street, and California Hotel property, which this festival celebrates music, mm -hmm. uh, arts. They paint murals all over downtown Vegas, just giant on the sides of buildings. Um, it's pretty amazing what they come up with. Yeah, so. I'm just amazed. I mean, I go to Vegas all the time. That's <laughs> how I earn my first class uh, upgrades. Yes. <laughs> but tell us what's happening in October. Why is it that October is so popular? You know, people, October is always our most popular month. People are always shocked that, you know, oh, October's already sold out in August. What's, what's going on? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I think the reason October is so popular is, number one, it's uh, considered one of the best weather months of the year for Las Vegas. Yes. Not too cold, not too hot. Perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of large expos and events in October, uh, tons of reunions in, in October. But my thinking is a lot of our frequent travelers that go four, five, six times a year, mm -hmm. I think they get to... Uh, September, August, they're like, oh, wow, it's almost New Year's and Thanksgiving and Christmas. I want to go to Vegas one more time. So October uh, is the month. October, they're yeah. like, this is our last chance before the holidays. That's Plus, everybody get to uh, dress up because Halloween is uh, right around the corner. I, and they get to be themselves, right? And Halloween is a crazy time yes. in Vegas, right there on Fremont Street. I mean, any <laughs> night, any weekend night especially oh. of the year, it's crazy on well, Fremont Street. But with the costumes and the parade... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Kevin, the saying, <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays, stays in Vegas. Stays in Vegas, yes. Yeah, and we get to hang loose. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you, there's do you uh, agree with that? Hanging loose in Vegas is kind of crazy, for sure. <laughs> so, um, what is your uh, favorite thing to do? Uh, like, give us some of your secret uh, tips when. Uh, <laughs> you know, there are times when I'm out of money because uh, I, 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 you I don't exercise. Your budget. Yes, yes, exactly. And I need to kill time or do something. Uh, what are some of the things that we can do for free and yet still enjoyable? The number one things, of course, are uh, Fremont Street experience. Is yes. Any night That's of the week is a party live three live main stages with live music. It's a party going on every night in Vegas. And of course, the Cal <clears throat> excuse me, the California Hotel. We're just one block away from Fremont Street. If you're at Fremont Hotel, you're right on Fremont mm -hmm. Street. Um, other things uh, I like to recommend is the Bellagio Fountains. Those are so impressive and beautiful. A different show mm -hmm. every uh, 15 minutes. Um, the lighting is different. The lighting's yeah. good. So uh, there are so many things that uh, we can do that doesn't cost us any money, uh, and yet you're going to find a very enjoyable and rewarding, fulfilling experience. Yes, and uh, there's some things that cost a little money that I recommend. Mm -hmm. uh, the high roller Ferris wheel is one of those things. Yes. So there are many, many uh, things that you can take advantage of. Uh, there are hotels and casinos that uh, offer um, like uh, free pool on their machines that doesn't cost you uh, anything, <coughs> but uh, they try to get you to come in and uh, see what's uh, going on in their property. And uh, this is a great way for you to walk in that door and see what they have to offer. And uh, like I said, October, November, and uh, December, not, not too many people, because people, people like to uh, stay <coughs> at home and spend uh, Christmas at home. Uh, but uh, the weeks leading up to uh, Christmas and even Thanksgiving is a bus busy time, especially for October. Uh, especially October. A lot of times right before the holidays, it slows down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think people are thinking of family things. Yeah. So let's look over our uh, list, Kevin, and maybe <laughs> take a little uh, breather. Uh, some of the uh, headliners, uh, Bruno Mars is uh, another popular uh, star that plays at, mm. uh, is it Planet Hollywood? Well, he actually doesn't have a residency, but uh -huh. he's rang in the new year for the last five years uh, right. in Las Vegas. Of course, he just did a summer concert in Las Vegas as mm -hmm. well. But uh, and so we're, many. We're so, expecting him to come home. <laughs> and of course, he's coming home to Hawaii in November. So that'll be, I believe it's, uh, no, it, it's not his first Hawaii concert back since he made it big, is it? it it's one of the first. It's one of the, sure. the, the biggest, anyway. Since he got like, really big. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Multimillionaire. Yes, Bruno yes. Mars. We're proud of him. I and remember he's got him when, power. when he was the, that, that little Bruno, uh, little, little Elvis, Elvis in Las Vegas, five uh -huh. years old. Amazing. All part of uh, Vegas history, and now uh, mega superstar. Yeah, he makes a little, a little bit of bucks now. Doesn't he? <laughs> Bruno Mars, Hawaii boy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, you know, anytime we mention Las Vegas, people get excited, and uh, they uh, can't help but uh, think about going back. All, even if uh, they do lose their money, like I do. <laughs> um, it doesn't take me long to uh, get over uh, that feeling. <laughs> well, of course, with the Vacations Hawaii, one of the reasons I think we're so popular, the casinos will send out $100 and $200 travel credits. Yes, the mahalo uh, checks. Every year, mm -hmm. uh, several times a year. And uh, say someone's got a six ninety nine departure and they've got a $200 mm -hmm. travel credit. That brings it down to four ninety nine. If they qualify for a comp room, they're a higher level player. That takes off another hundred dollars, mm -hmm. three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, if you're a higher player like our friend Emmy, you get the free first class upgrades, the free luggage. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank God and thank Vacation Hawaii. All those bonuses really. Yes, uh, they do add up. <laughs> and then I get a hundred dollars free play whenever and I check in. Free play. Yeah. So by the it's time you nice get all that. It's nice to play on casino money. Yes. And then, uh, of course, um, Gold Coast 
always have that drawing, which uh, I, I won there also. Well, yeah. yeah that, for the Seniors Wednesday. Uh, yeah, the 50 plus. <laughs> yes. And actually, that promotion is at all our Boyd Gaming properties. It is so now? It is also at California, Fremont, and Main mm -hmm. Street. So if you're 50 plus, play at a Boyd property on a Wednesday. Slide your card in one of the kiosks because they give you random multipliers. And as you know, you can get a random just free cash. Yes. Uh, just uh, a lot of bonus money is always fun in a casino. So. Well, I love the 10 times. So that, that always rack up the points. So. Speaking um, of promotions, mm -hmm. uh, you may have seen scratch card promotion at the Main Street Station Hotel. Main Street is famous for where that. Where you can get 5,000 bonus cash. Uh, just last month, Hawaii mm -hmm. girl, she got her, and all you have to do is get four of a kind in a, a video poker. She got four threes, so she got her scratch card. Mm -hmm. She had one of the 5,000 scratch cards, so people always ask me, is there really a 5,000 card? Oh. Yes, there is, and <laughs> yeah, a Hawaii girl won it, it last month, so that's well, exciting. With the two minutes that we have left in our segment, uh, I want to thank again uh, Vacations Hawaii and, of course, your entire staff that uh, they do a remarkable job in accommodating our clients and uh, our listeners. So uh, make sure that you thank them. I certainly um, will. Uh, Leslie, Kevin, uh, I know that you're going to be around for a long time with Vacations <laughs> Hawaii. Uh, what is it that, that you would like to be remembered as when they say Vacations Hawaii and Kevin Kanashiro? Mm, wow. Uh, <laughs> Million dollar question. <laughs> well, when I win the mega bucks, that I was a very generous person. Um, I, I think uh, I like to have fun, and working with Vegas and our customers that go to Vegas, I get to experience fun through them. And uh, I hope to be remembered for someone that helped other people have fun. So. That's how I remember you, you know, oh, always <laughs> with, a, with a smile, always cheerful and joyful, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. You never see oh, uh, Kevin you. having a frown on his face oh. because he's always <laughs> running around, especially uh, the uh, Mahalo party. Uh, when you have to host so many thousands of people yeah. uh, that uh, Those come are and fun. attend, yeah, you're the man. So, you, you do make uh, vacations Hawaii. Those mahalo parties are fun. Every November, we do a mahalo party for our top casino guest on Maui. Then we do one in Hilo. Mm -hmm. And then we do two parties in Honolulu, because obviously most of our customers live on Oahu. But yeah, getting to say thank you to thousands of our hotel guests, our casino guests every year uh, is really fun. Well, thank you again on behalf of uh, Think Tech Hawaii uh, for allowing us uh, this program. Uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii, we come to your home every week and uh, we thank uh, Vacations Hawaii. Got Vegas on your mind, get Vacations Hawaii on the line. You may call them direct, 591-4777, Vacations Hawaii. Mr. Kevin Kanashiro, maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, God bless, mahalo, and mabuhay.